Liam, you're on three out of four. Two wins, two draws. Are you satisfied with the way tournament, the tournament is going? Yeah, I think I'm playing okay. Um, the two draws, I didn't really have any chances to do more, so I think it's a logical result. But I guess uh, I should try to be more aggressive and play more ambitiously if I want to try to get a, a high ranking for this tournament. It's very important in these open tournaments to take risks and to play more ambitiously, like you're saying. Uh, is that something that you want to adapt in the future games and change your style, perhaps? Yeah, definitely. Um, for example, we can see that Hikaru is uh, playing a lot of different openings than he used to when he played elite tournaments. So definitely he's taking chances um, play many different openings and try to confuse opponents. So that's one thing I have to improve for myself, of course. And uh, I'm also trying to learn new openings and strategy and experimenting here and there a little bit. But sometimes things don't always work out in your way. So we just have to take what you get and try the best for the next games. Absolutely. And do you feel that this style of Hikaru's of playing aggressive chess and taking more chances is the reason why he performs well at open tournaments? Yeah, I would say he's a specialist in open tournaments. I know he has won Gibraltar Open three times already, right? So uh, definitely he has a lot of experience and his playing style and opening repertoire does, uh, definitely um, helps him with that. Um, but you can also see that a lot of the top guys, they play basically every openings and uh, they can adapt their style quite well. And I think that's one of the things that uh, differentiates them from the rest of the 2700 guys. Talking about combative chess, your today's game was quite interesting. You sacrificed an exchange. Was that preparation or over the board inspiration? <laughs> no, it was not my preparation. Um, he surprised me with this pawn sacrifice with e4 and uh, I was a little confused with this move. I didn't see it before. And I thought, OK, the text E4 is the critical move, but looks like he's in his harm preparation. And it would be risky for me to go there uh, with such complications when he knew all the lines and I don't. So I decided to pick another move, uh, C5. Maybe slightly worse for me, but practically, I think it's the smarter choice. So um, yeah, I ended up. Um, been an estranged DAO, but I had some compensation. So um, I don't think it's too bad for me, uh, but definitely he was the one pushing. And he could have played on even in the final position, but he was low on time and he, there was no clear way to make progress. And I understand that he didn't want to, make, to take risks. Right, now you drew your first round game against a young Indian boy, then you had two nice wins and you drew your game today. Are you happy with the quality of the games? Yeah, as I said, in general, I am playing um, decent chess and I didn't make any big blunder in the last four games. So um, the, the two draws, my opponent simply played so well and I didn't have any chances. So I think uh, that's logical and we'll see what happens next. Right, now my last question is, you were here a couple of years ago, Liam, and now you're back here. Uh, in the middle, how have you seen this tournament evolve now that you're back here? How has it changed and what's your impressions this time? Yeah, it's always so nice to be in Gibraltar. I played here twice before in 2012 and 13, And uh, this year, very happy to come back and I see that the tournament is growing in all aspects. Um, number of players, number of countries represented. Um, the quality of organization is always very high and I'm really happy to play in such a strong open tournament and I think it's a perfect opportunity for, um, for all the players, especially the young players, to have a chance to improve their skills here. All right, well, we love having you here and we're looking forward to seeing some fighting chess on your end. Thank you for taking our time. Thank you. Thanks.